Hello you guys, this is the Team XHD here, bringing you guys FOD Showdown number one, where two teams take each other head on in order to see who can be this week's FOD champions. Alright guys, just as a quick side note, one of our intended teams did not show up due to a couple of issues that will not be mentioned unfortunately, due to their respect to the privacy and such. But we made together a team of fairly good players, and trust me, this, this does not distract at all from the match. These players are incredibly good, so when they when they these teams clash, it's going to be hella crazy. All right, guys, let's get right into it. First map, guys, search and destroy on Arkaden, one of my favorite maps, a German mall consisting of lots of different choke points, many different areas where players can set up, and a lot of times where people will be wondering where the enemy is and will not be able to predict as well how things are going to go. And of course guys, the teams this week are Team Yatu, consisting of Yatu, Ghost, and Coke Can, versus Team Raid, with Radio Conscience, Get All Majiggy, and Toe Crips. Alright guys, let's get right into things. Here we go. Let's take a look at the Spetsnaz first. Consisting of Ghost, Yatu, and Coke Can. Let's start off by watching Ghost here, right off the bat with his MP7 extended mags. Looks like he's going to go off to the left towards A-bomb. Nice little rush here to get into the center. He's not going to get anybody on the hard aim, but he is going to get beaten by Jiggy, waiting right underneath. Now it's going to be down to Kokan and Yatu. Kokan also using an MP7, but with a suppressor on his head. He's going to spot somebody. But it looks like he may get beaten here. Close battle between Coke Can and whoever was down there. Coke's going to decide he's going to try and get a better vantage point on the position. And Yachty's going to take out Jiggy, so that's going to leave it down to a two on two. Coke Can again playing a little bit more defensive while around the bomb. Let's switch over to Yachty and see what he's going oh, on. And Yachty will get taken out by Crips, so it's down to Coke Can to take down two members of the enemy team. Moving up a little bit, playing a bit more aggressive for his position. And he is going to either lose, he's going to take down yeah, Conscious, so it's down to a one on one, guys. Tau Crips versus Coke Can. Let's see who's the winner here, guys. He's going to move through paint, and he's going to probably move out, I'd assume. Kokan's looking around to check both bombs. He looks like he's going to check the B bomb and he's also going to be moving around, hopefully, to check around the A bomb. At least that's what I would do, would be also to look around at the A bomb a bit. And he can hear him, I believe, at this point. I did just hear him step. And he's going to take oh, out Chris. What a close first round. round, guys. So that's going to go to the Spetsnaz here, with Kokan getting the final kill with his nice oh, MP7 suppressed yeah. with Red Tiger. Or just Red in this game, it's not Red Tiger. Modern Warfare 2 days, guys. Switching sides. Switching it over. Let's switch over to the SAS, who handled that last round pretty well. But let's just see. It. Let's look in on... How about... Crips, because he was the last one left. Using a UMP-45 suppressed with sleight of hand. He's going to get a nice little stun there. Let's see if he can spot anybody. They must have been on stairs. That's at least what I would assume. And he's going to take down Kokan. Ghost is going to take out Jiggy. Another two on two here. See if they decide to come through paint. Tao playing a little less aggressive here just for the sake of waiting. He knows he's inside of paint. And we most likely tossing a nade here. You can hear the clacking of the nade. He's going to take out Ghost here. Nice job by Crips to take corner. down Crips. And now it's a two on one. Conscious is also waiting in that similar corner there. Interesting choice to place the nade there. A little bit of lag there, but regardless, both teams are playing very well. 
Crips is going to be moving around a little bit more just to check around the different areas of the map, just confirming whether or not the enemy's there. Yachu's okay. going to take out Conscience. Now, uh, let's see if he can get him. Crips versus Yachu. Let's see how things go here. And he gets taken oh, out by Crips with the knife! Incredible! Man. Incredible! Anyone should have stayed there. I thought I was gonna shoot. Yo, he's using the, the custom class, isn't he? And he is not what, using what? the default class, yeah, too. So Charging don't try with that yet. Hey, man. <laughs> and now we're gonna take a look over on the Spetsnaz once again. Let's go over to Yatu and see how well he can do in this round with his ACR extended mags. Got dead silence, logically. Search and destroy, so that's one of the better perks to use. He's gonna watch paint. Jiggy's gonna take out Ghost right off the bat. That's a nice little kill there. He knows he's on escalator. He's gonna get the kill. He's gonna get the two-piece. Can he get the two-piece? He takes them both down. Conscience and Tau Crips both get taken out by Yatu. Clutch moment right there. Now it's down to Jiggy to take down both Yatu and I believe it's Kokan. Yes, Yatu and Kokan. Behind you. He knows where you are. Going down. Yatu's just gonna be waiting a little bit closer to home here. Let's switch over to Kokan. Running through the spawn, taking a look around with his MP7 suppressed. And he, I think he has just spotted him. And he's going to get the kill on Jiggy with his MP7 just a move right there. <laughs> You're just flattering me, man. So now it's 2 I 1 for Spetsnaz. Search and destroy on Arcaden. I saw him before, but like when he was shooting, I did not see Let's see if it goes the same way, guys. Let's go back over to the SAS and take a look at Radio Conscience, who's going to. Looks like he's going to be moving over into Bar. Both teams very skilled. It looks like this could come down to either a really good clutch player because it was, again, down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Conscience is going to be able to watch here. He's going to get a nice stun. And he's going to take out Kokan. The bomb has been planted at the Alpha site, and now Conscience is going to move in. Crips takes down Echo. And looks like Yachu's going to take him down. He's going to move back around. Again. Jiggy, you gotta get over there, dude. And this is either gonna be a nice two-piece. Oh, he's gonna get. He's oh gonna God. take him down, and now it's oh, the defuse time. Down, Impressive job by oh Tau Crips. And get on my down. Jiggy. Impressive job. Maybe we should stop rushing. rushing has and we're tied up 2 2 good again. Job. Again, get another right close round. I'm good. Very impressive work on both teams. Yeah, no, it was my super mistake. I this is what I'm down. talking about, guys. These close games are perfect for this. All right, let's stick with the SAS, see what their offensive strategy is. We're going to go on to... No, let's go on to Radio Conscience. No offense, Crips. Let's go on to Conscience, who's got an ACR suppressed here. And we have pre-nade down on Escalator. Conscience is going to wait inside of that same spot that a lot of people waited on the flank. Kokan's gonna take out Crips up top, so that, that means usually that he's on the B-bomb up there. So Conscious now has to make a, a little bit of a decision here, whether or not to move up. Smart move to stun up there and then sit. Now Conscious needs to give him a hand. He's too far out in the open. Conscious may get taken out here. Yup, he gets taken down by Kokan. Incredible communication. 3-2 for the Spetsnaz. Ooh, Unfortunately, Conscious didn't two, have a lot of two, options in that two, position. He was right out in the open with two of the enemy players staring right at him. No rushing. No rushing. No. Alright, let's take a look at the team that could win it all now, the Spetsnaz. We are going to take a look at Coke Cam this time. Who's going to run again with another MP7 suppressed, running down the line to a spot that a lot of people had gone to. He's confirmed now that one is inside of bars, so he can keep aiming there. It was smart for Kokan not to push up there. That Semtex could have been a major issue. Looks like bullets have been fired, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who's going to get the first blood. 
And wow. Ghost will get it. And Jiggy will take down Ghost immediately after. Oh, Jiggy. Bomb looks like it's going. Yachi looks like he's yeah, waiting up top. Kokan's got to make a decision here. One could be inside a bar, but he may have. But he's gonna have to keep looking. Yeah, Yachi's nice. gonna take out Raid. This is the opportunity they've been waiting for. Oh, it looks like Jiggy's gonna take down Yachi, so it's gonna be down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, Kokan versus Jiggy. Let's see who can win this. Oh, and he's gonna oh, take him out. Jiggy so takes down Kokan. Do we are tied three-three, ladies and gentlemen. I saw him. He's so red, oh my gosh. Let's see who's gonna take it home, guys. Last round, overtime. Overtime. Oh, for... On defense. I'm gonna my game up. Impeccably impressive gameplay from both teams here. Let's switch over to the SAS. Let's go on to our other player, Get On My Jiggy, who just got the last win in clutch kill. They decided to leave the bomb behind, which I'm not sure if that's the best idea. But notice on Jiggy's side now, he has Sit Rep Pro, so that he's going to be able to hear a lot of the players here. It looks like Ghost's going to get oh the first kill on God. Raid. Ow. Now Jiggy, you don't have to play too aggressive here. He's going to wait inside of paint. He might try and push out here. It may not be the best move. And he is going to get taken out by Yatu, who's sitting on paint. And now it's down to Crips, who unfortunately has got a one-on-three, and he's going to get taken oh, out, and it oh is a 4-3 game nice. for Ghost, mm. Yatu, and Kokan. <laughs> that was good.